Hey guys, it's Ryan. In this video, we're going to continue to talk about oral pathology, and this time we're going to move from benign connective tissue tumors to malignant connective tissue tumors. And most of these are a malignant conversion of the previous lesions we just talked about. So you may recognize a lot of similar sounding names, but with the addition of sarcoma at the end. So if you remember back to when we talked about malignant mucosal lesions, we were talking about carcinomas because they're epithelial in origin. And now that we're deeper in talking about submucosa, we're going to use the root sarcoma at the end of each of these lesions. So first we have fibrosarcoma, and this is the malignant proliferation of fibroblasts. So you'll notice that um, a lot of these connective tissue tumors, or lumps and bumps as I call them, look kind of similar, just on a spectrum of severity, some being smaller and some being larger. So I'm not going to include pictures for all of these lesions uh, for that uh, reason. But uh, the most important thing to know for each of these malignant um, connective tissue tumors is the cell that's involved in the neoplasm, in terms of um, an exam like the part 2 boards. Next, we have neurofibrosarcoma, which is also known as a malignant peripheral nerve sheath tumor. And this is a malignant proliferation of Schwann cells. So fibrosarcoma, we had fibroblasts, and now we have Schwann cells. Next, we have Kaposi's sarcoma, which is a malignant proliferation of endothelial cells. And endothelium is what lines the inside of various organs including the blood and lymphatic vessels. And it's caused by human herpes virus 8 and most commonly seen as a complication of AIDS. And I'm going to go back on my word. And this one, I do have a picture because uh, unlike the other ones we're going to talk about in the video, this has a very characteristic and unique appearance clinically. So um, it's this deep purple lesion. Here we have it on the inside of the hard palate. And Anything purple is usually nine times out of 10 associated with Kaposi's sarcoma. It's just a very characteristic color and um, often um, test makers like to make that link. And lastly, we have three, um, three more malignant connective tissue tumors that we want, want to cover. And the first is leiomyosarcoma which if we're picking apart the roots here is a malignancy of smooth muscle cells. We have rhabdomyosarcoma, so malignancy of skeletal muscle cells. And lastly, we have a malignancy of fat cells. And here's a slide from my previous video on benign connective tissue tumors. And you might notice how similar these names are and they have the exact same cell of origin. So really, you just have to memorize the benign ones and you'll have the malignant ones memorized then too. So that's a nice little um, twist to have in terms of uh, studying for these uh, tumors. So that's actually all for this video, guys. Thanks again for watching. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like on the uh, video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more oral pathology and other things dentistry. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you all in the next video.